So I hope that you are now clear about what are different classes and objects in OpenFOAM, at least in superficial level, uh, because I have not shown you any code yet. So uh, this is uh, this is called object registry, which is a very uh, very important and often neglected topic in OpenFOAM. Only the developers know it because the users do not bother to know about it. However, uh, if you are looking towards developing source code, you should know it. That's why I have kept the topic. So there are three components. So basically, it is a hierarchical database, okay, uh, to organize its model-related data, right? So when you are writing the source code, you have to keep your object and classes in an order so that they can properly interact with each other and they can uh, organize the outputs also in an accord uh, according way, right? So that is actually known as object registry, which is a, which is a registry basically, which, is, which takes account of all the different classes and objects in a hierarchical basis. So the main two objects is uh, IO object, which is probably known to many of you who are into programming, which is a basic uh, tool of programming. Like if you want to code, you need to read something, you need to write something. Right. So without that, your code will not work. So that object is basically the main uh, column of object registry. And as I have already told that the time class, which is often uh, denoted by this runtime object, is the root of object registry. So I will show you the hierarchical basis. So the first time you want to like the first time you want to start your simulation it will first go to runtime and that gives access to all other classes and objects that are actually uh, needed for the solution of your problem. So there is, so this is IO object, which is a class that provides standardized input output support as well as giving access to the runtime. The, there is another thing which is uh, REG IO object I will call and which manages the registration and deregistration of the objects in the object registry. Like one object is created and then another object is destroyed. So those are managed by this REG IO object. Okay. So basically object registry is a hash table to say it very loosely, which catalogs all the REG IO objects that help manage their read and write operations and IO object class is a sub part of the REG IO objects because IO objects doesn't have the capability of uh, registering or deregistering new objects. However, it gives you access to the time uh, class and also manages read and write operations. So I just wanted to put it simply, we can call it that the purpose of object registry is to communicate between the solvers and the data. Okay, So how the workflow is done? So this is the common syntax of the IO object in the source code of OpenFOAM. Okay? So the first comes as constant type word, which is the name. Then the constant type instance, that means in which folder it is, where it is located. Then which object registry it belongs to. Then comes read option and write option like whether you want to read from it yes or no whether you want to write on it yes or no and then comes a boolean boolean uh, line that whether to register this object or not okay so for example this i have already told that the top level object registry associates with the time class and it is often declared as the runtime variable and uh, it gives all the details about the time as well as it connects to the other uh, input output and other classes and objects. So, okay, so that is in the next slide. I will go to that first. So let's say uh, if you want to read the transport properties, right? So you have the transport properties file in your constant folder. So now your uh, when you are running the simulation, the code is telling that I have to read some properties from this transport properties file, right? So how that reading or writing is done within OpenFOAM as 
part of this object registry okay so how would you uh, like to read this transport properties file in open form so as i showed so in the source code you would find that io dictionary transport properties which is uh, basically e, uh, a part or link to the root io object which is runtime and so basically the runtime io object is trying to read transport properties file in the next stage and the second line dot constant is basically it is located within the constant folder right and it is part of the object registry mess okay clear and i want to read it so that's why it is must read i want to read some properties from this files but i do not want to modify this file by writing something on it so no write okay now if this as you are telling like if this files is not located in the constant it is located in the system then i have to use runtime dot system here okay and also if you want to read this property online that means every time step your property is changing that can also be possible right so you want to read the density of the flow which may change with time at every time step so then you have to give runtime dot time name that means at every time step how it is changing okay so is it clear this is very important nitty gritty of the source code and uh, another example i have given like if you want to read volume scalar field pressure instead of a file transport properties so in that case you have to give io object p and runtime time name so basically you are uh, reading it for every time step and it belongs to the object registry mess must read so you want to read it that means the previous time step you are reading the previous time step pressure file and then auto write that means you also want to write this time step value for the pressure and then you do all the surface interpolation in the mess right so this is how the object registry works in open form and then i will come to this part which shows the hierarchy of this object registry in the open form so as i told the first comes <clears throat> run time uh, which is within the control deck then it comes to mess so within run time object registry you have the control deck uh, io object then within the mess you have this io objects fb schemes fb solution points faces owners neighbor boundary all these stuffs okay then you have another dictionary called transport properties 